We continue to highlight possible solutions as violence and part of our uh, part of our Save Our Streets initiative uh, we do here at Fox 29, and it's a major effort uh, that's underway to reduce gun violence in cities around the country, including, of course, here in Philadelphia. Lawmakers from both sides are proposing a billion dollars in federal funding to help get it done. Jeff Cole live at the Roundhouse tonight. Jeff. Yeah, well, the pandemic, during the pandemic, violence has spiked and soared across the country, particularly gun violence. So these are four members of the U.S. House. These are federal representatives who, in our region now, are supporting this billion-dollar package. It may do something, but it won't do it right away. They stood today in a park where a 15-year-old was gunned down in August. It was last August when 15-year-old Simone Monet Rogers was shot and killed while playing basketball in the Jerome Brown playground. Today, her mother heard her daughter's name raised in the grinding battle against crime. Our police need more help to solve these kind of cases. We need to get these shooters off the street. This is a national problem. A problem that four members of Congress and Philly's top cops say could be battled with one billion in new federal dollars doled out over a decade. Some want more cops. We not only need more detectives to investigate these cases, but we also need more officers on the street to aid in crime prevention. It's called the Victim Act, and it would set up a grant program out of the U.S. Justice Department to help police solve more cases and assist victims. It's a long way from approval, but U.S. Representative Mary Gay Scanlon, a victim of a gunpoint carjacking, thinks it'll help. I got lucky. No one got hurt, but obviously not everyone is so lucky. Lindale Rogers wants to leave her North Philly home. My house was hit five times with an AK-47. I'm still being traumatized while grieving. I reached out for relocation services. I was offered $2,000. Representative Evans believes the new money is a lock for passage in the U.S. House and likely in the Senate. The mother of the slain teen is placing her hope elsewhere. Were you convinced by anything you heard here? No, but you were not I'm hopeful. I'm putting my faith in God. That's that, okay? Putting her faith in God. Now, how that money will be actually doled out, how much federal money would a city like Philadelphia get as opposed to smaller cities and smaller police departments? Still unclear yet because the bill really has just been put in the hopper and has been assigned to the Judiciary Committee. But it is a clear sign that federal representatives, U.S. members of the House and maybe even the Senate, are clearly being impacted by violence throughout this country and certainly in this region. Live here at the Roundhouse Police Headquarters, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, folks. Thank you, Jeff. And our Save Our Streets initiative continues this Friday at 6.30 p.m. We invite you to join us for our half-hour special called New Beginnings. You can also watch SOS stories on our website, fox29.com.